Your online store navigation menus, especially the menu that you find in the header section of your online store, are extremely important. Because using these menus, your customers will be able to navigate your store and understand what do you sell. The better those navigation menus are, the more friendly user your website is. So make sure to set these navigation menus properly if you want to improve your store user experience and conversion rate. Now, before moving to my screen to start showing you how to create your navigation menus and implement them within your Shopify theme, there is something very important that you must keep in mind. Before starting with your navigation menus, you need to think about all the different ways your customers might be exploring your products. So think about all the collections and sub-collections you need to include and create them. If you don't know much about collections and sub-collections or how you should be dividing your products into these categories and subcategories, I highly recommend you to check this video on my YouTube channel because in this video, I explain to you everything about collections and sub-collections. And now let's start with our tutorial. I need you to go to your Shopify dashboard. And from there, I need you to go to online store and navigation. This is where we are going to create our menus. In this video, I'm going to focus on the main menu, the one you find in the header section, but the same logic applies to all menus on your store, including the footer menu, for example. So from here, I will click on add new and I will create a new menu and I will call it main menu and I will put my initials in here. The first thing you need to do is to add your first menu item. And let's say for the first menu item, I'm going to choose simply shop. So I will put shop. If I want this tab or this menu item to be clickable, I need to insert a link in here. Or you can make it unclickable and make it open like in here, for example. So if you want to make it clickable, you need to insert a, a link. If you don't, you just insert this symbol. And then this way, you can make the item unclickable. You click on add. After this, let's add our second menu item. So let's say we will have shop, then we will have categories. I am basically now adding the main menu item. So if we go back to our example in here, I'm adding these items in here. So in here they were red, white, rosé. In here I'm adding shop and categories, okay? Once you finish, just save. And I need you now to start adding the subcategories. In Shopify, you can have up to three levels in your navigation menu and that's it. And this is the kind of the levels I'm talking about. So basically you have the first level, which are these items in here. Then you have the second level, which are these items in here. Then you have the third level, which you find in here with these subcategories. So going back in here, let's say under shop, I want to have shop by brand, shop by product type. I will click on add menu item and now I'm creating the second level. So I will write by product type and I can decide again whether I want it to be clickable or not. To click on add. Now, in order to make it a subcategory of the shop category, I need to move it like this and put it under shop. So as you can see now, I have level one and next to it level two. Okay, shop by type. Now I want to create a second item on the level two. So I'm basically creating a second one like this one and I will call it shop by brand. Again, I will make it unclickable and I click on add. So now we have our main menu item with the tabs of the second level. Now I want to create subcategories under the product type. So I will click on add menu item and I will simply go to my collections and for example, choose beverage, then I will move it up to be under the product type. So basically now I have level one, level two, and level three. Okay, so I have created my three levels, shop by product type beverages. Now I will add more items under this level. So I will click on add menu item. And as you can see, if you choose the collection before typing the name, Shopify will be directly taking the name from the collection name. So if I choose bread and buns, as you can see, the tab directly would be named as the collection. I think this is productive. It makes work a little bit easier. Let's add another sub collection in here. 
and that's it. You can add as much sub collections as you want. Now, once this is done, I'm gonna move to my second tab in here, which is the second item in the second level. I will click on add menu item, and this time I will choose different collections. So I'm not sure I have in here brands, but let's say this is one, I will move it under this one. Then I will add another one. And this is going to be under this tab. And I will click on save. So basically now we have created a three levels navigation menu. So we have level one, level two, and level three. How we are going to preview this on our Shopify store? So many people are very confused with this. When you want to change your navigation menu or the items within your navigation menu, you need to go to online store navigation menu. So as you can see, this part in here is independent and it's not related to the theme you are using. In here, we create the navigation menu, then we need to go to our theme and select this menu in there. Okay, so this is where you change your navigation menus. You go to online store, this is my current theme, this is the Dawn theme. I'm going to show you how this is going to look on the Dawn theme, then I'm going to show you how this is going to look on a more professional theme like the local. I will click on Customize, and as you can see, under the header section, I have two items, Announcement Bar and Header. I will click on Header because this is where my menu is. And when you look in here, you will notice that we have linked to the main menu in here. We want to change this menu and replace it with the menu that we have just created. So we click on change, change menu, and we choose the one that we have just created and we click on select. So now, as you can see, I have this menu and it has three levels, one, two, three. But it doesn't look super good because it's not a mega menu. What we are aiming for is to have something similar to this, okay? So we are going to go in here and we are going to choose desktop menu type to be mega menu. And now you will see that when you click in here, it will open as a mega menu. Well, the Dawn theme is a very basic theme. It's a free one and it's super basic. That's why the mega menu in here doesn't look as fancy as it looks, for example, in this theme in here. If you are using a professional theme, most probably your mega menus will look better than this. So let's go to the local theme and see how this is going to look like there. I will go back from here and I will go to the local theme and click on customize. Again, one more time, we go to header and from here we click on header to change the menu and I will click on change menu and choose the new menu that I have just created. Again, if you click in here, as you can see, we have the basic three level navigation menu. We want to turn this into something better, so we want to add mega menus. And here you must know that how you add mega menus and how they work will differ depending on the theme you are using. But in most of the themes, this is what is going to happen. You need to go back in here, click on add block, and click on add mega menu. When you do that, you need to tell the theme which item on this menu is actually going to become a mega menu. So you choose, for example, here shop. Let's see if it's sensitive case or not. No, it worked. So now we have the mega menu under shop, but we can make it fancier by adding promotion blocks, as you can see in here, and you can change like several things related to the colors and the style of this mega menu. And you can repeat the same thing with other menu items in here. Now, in some themes and in some cases, you don't need even to add the mega menu block that we have added in here. So in so many themes, the theme will directly know this is a mega menu and it will generate the mega menu directly. But in most of the themes, this is what you need to do. You need to just add the block. If you are not sure how your theme works, you can always check the help center of your theme and see how mega menus work for your specific theme. So basically, that's it. That's how you add and modify your navigation menu. Now, just one last time, because I know this is something most of you get confused with. When we click save in here, and let's say I want to add a new menu item in here, what I need to do is to go in here to navigation. As you can see, I go to the menu I'm working on, and in here I add items, okay? 
But as I said before, you need first to create all of your collections and sub collections before working on this. I can't emphasize more on the importance of having a very clear organized navigation menu. Your navigation menu can actually break or make your store. Because let's say you are selling sports outfits and I'm searching for yoga outfits. If I can't find a very quick way to find all yoga outfits, most probably you are going to lose me as a customer. And in the same Shopify store, if you are selling sports outfits, for example, I should be able to navigate the products by product type. So I should be able to directly see all the leggings, all the bras and so on. That's why when you go to a big store with a large catalog like Decathlon, for example, you will notice that they have divided their products by sports in here which is super clear. Then after this, you have women collection, men, kids, and so on. And under women, you will notice that these are divided by product type. So let's say, for example, I do yoga. I can go in here to sports and I will go in here and find the yoga section. And if I want to buy a legging in general, I would go to women and I will choose, for example, leggings from here. And not only that, when you go to a sub collection like jackets and coats in here, you will notice that they have added more sub collections in here to make the experience even easier and to make it easier for their customers to find what they are searching for. And not only that, when you click on filters in here, you can see more options to filter the products and to find what you are looking for. Having sub collections like these on your collection page is actually doable, especially now with Shopify 2.0. And in this video on my YouTube channel, I show you exactly how you can insert sub collections in this way within your collection page. And also, if you want to know more about how to set up filters, because filters work side by side with navigations. Having a good navigation menu is not enough, especially if you have a large catalog. In this case, you should be doubling down on your filters. And also also, if you want to know more about filters, there is a video on my YouTube channel where I explain everything related to filters, how they work and how you can set them up. So that's it for today's video. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below and I would be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving and if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. And also I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it strong and sustainable. I show you the exact framework that will help you to attract, convert and retain your customers. And it is a totally free workshop. You just need to go down to the description and to click on the link and that's it. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye bye.